What's going on, everybody? It's Kelly Nitro for Nitro Maniac TV's a wrestling challenge. Joining me today is the mighty Morehouse. And uh, we got one more magazine we're going to show you here. Uh, Morehouse found us while we were searching stuff for uh, Nitro Maniac TV's merch search. And, uh, well, let's see. take it from here. This is. Uh, I introduce you to the world of Crozar. <laughs> May Crozar live forever. The hell is Crozar? <laughs> You'll find out because I'll have you go through this. But the front cover, I do want to say, this is the start of the Attitude Era mm -hmm. and includes four wrestlers who only three show up for WrestleMania. Okay, uh, and this is the April 1997 issue of the WWF magazine we were looking at right yep. here. Uh, a full recap, I imagine, of WrestleMania 13 Heat. Correct? No, nope. preview. Oh, it's a preview. Okay, so yeah. it's not a, re it's because a preview. Because Mr. Uh, Shawn Michaels is on the cover. Mr. Shawn Michaels was He lost not. his smile yep. at that point. He, he was, was not there. But, yeah, so you could tell that with the four heads what the matchups were going to be. You still would have had Undertaker Sid, but I think they really were banking on his Brett Shawn rematch from the year before yep. Yep. Uh, in Chicago. For the title. Probably. To do stuff. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. maybe for the title? Sure, absolutely. Cause, yeah, because Sean won the title yeah. at Royal Rumble. Yeah, and maybe have Austin go against Owen at that point. Maybe he goes against a, uh, a, a I mean, we could fantasy book out. Or Austin one. probably schmoz the Oh, I would match. say so, yeah. yeah. But maybe even Austin this. Vader, who knows. Uh, Introduce you to the world of Crozar. So we do, Crozar. Have, we do have a little preview here before we get into it. Okay. <clears throat> Inside the front cover, all right, so inside the front cover of the magazine, there it is. Uh, right there, there's a little inset, and I'll read the, uh, the captions for you here. They always said there'd be another Big Bang, but they never said it would be this big. You're about to experience a cosmic collision. I feel like i got to be reading this in the Ultimate Warrior voice. <laughs> You're about to experience a cosmic collision of superstars from parallel universes. The World Wrestling Federation and their superstar counterparts from Crows are... Wow, that's that, your head gets, just gets really. <laughs> you yeah. gotta remember to breathe during that. Okay, light, light, light years, years from here beyond the darkest black hole, a race of beings with unsurpassed powers, unparalleled wrestling ability, and unknown intentions are ray fleeing towards Earth. This is Crozar, and this is the beginning, brother. <laughs> That's what I do, Mr. <coughs> Manning. <coughs> Crozar, the WWF Federation in... Or, the, sorry, watch that one. Okay. Crozar, the World Wrestling Federation in Cosmic Conflict. Don't miss the adventure. Don't miss out on a special limited time offer. Get your own collector's limited edition. Details inside. Not bad. There so that's your introduction to the world of Crozar. That's that, that's Crozar, okay. But we, and halfway through the book, we do have the full Crozar story. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. There was a Brett the Hitman Heart Monster truck at one time. Look at that. I'm just kind of flipping. And Truckosaurus. And Truckosaurus. Truckosaurus. All right. Uh, what page is our Crozar stuff? Oh, I see You're it. Getting okay. There we go. I got it now. It's not hard to miss. No. It's there we go. bizarre. All right. So it begins on this issue, the April 97 issue, uh, right after. And whoa, okay. That Raw magazine cover is a little strange. <laughs> and a double J poster. So 20, 29, 30, 31. So uh, right after you see this, which is weird enough as it is, uh, you go ahead to this one, 32. And uh, it is the Crozar prologue. So we're looking at the prologue for, for Crozar. <laughs> Crozar. Crozar. Try to do my Vince McMahon again. <clears throat> Welcome to the dawn of the new millennium. You're about to experience a cosmic collision of superstars from parallel universes. The World Wrestling Federation and their superstar counterparts from Crozar, a universe beyond the darkest black hole. A universe collapsing upon itself where time runs backwards and evolution is in reverse. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, sounds like Monday Night Raw now. <laughs> Um, in a desperate fight, the superstars from Crozar, some are good, some are evil, are speeding towards Earth. Their intentions are unknown, yet they have the powers to morph into any form needed to survive. This is the extraordinary story of a cosmic conflict, 
told in an extraordinary way. It will prove to be the greatest challenge ever faced by the World Wrestling Federation superstars. And it begins right here. Order yours now. For immediate credit card order, it's called blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Crozar. 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 And then there's like a still frame from a television show of Psycho Sid. Being tripped by a, cu a couple of uh, elemental deities. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Sure. <laughs> we'll put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the fire guy and we got the ice guy. Yeah. And then we got a lizard. We got we got fire guy with absolutely no pants. His junk's just swinging all around. Yeah. yeah. Just, all right. Anyway, Crozar, prologue. The World Wrestling Federation in Cosmic Conference. And we got some so, terrible drawings. Yeah, uh, we do. We, we have some really terrible drawings to begin with. And um, that's the, the opening page. Uh, going forward... Um, <laughs> it opens with... Two comic frames uh, at the World Wrestling Federation headquarters in Connecticut. So we uh, took a still photo of the weight room. I, which is the, uh, what do you call that, NXT Center? Oh, the uh, yeah, Performance Center. It's the Performance Center. Uh, at, at the time. Yeah. yeah. It's just the gym at Titan Towers at this time. But, uh, but The Titan Center. The Titan Center, I guess. Uh, you see a... Fade. Heavy, heavy metal-esque style drawing of Vader. Shawn Michaels. Psycho Sid. Yeah. And then, while the superstars work out, where we have Yokozuna melting into the mat. Giving a rock bottom to Vader. <laughs> He's melting. He's melting into the mat! <laughs> Perhaps it was the donuts, I don't know. I'm just saying, he is melting into the mat He didn't at this want point. to be the first thousand pound wrestler. That was his dream. And then... The Undertaker ponders a message constantly beaming into his head. The problem is with this frame, I don't see the Undertaker at all, do you? There's no Undertaker. There's Sid. That looks like Jamie Farr from MASH with blonde hair. And gold dust. Yeah. <laughs> but no Undertaker. And his nose is melting. And Yeah, they're kind of melting into the thing. Oh, and... Oh, maybe that is him. That's Undertaker outside. Oh, look at that. Boom. And, and there's lightning okay, bolts. Okay, so he's right there. Way at, oh, get up there. Way at the bottom. Way where my finger is. See? There he is. Way down there. With lightning bolts. Yeah, he's being hit by lightning bolts. Perhaps the auto club came to reboot him. I don't know. And uh, we flip to the next one. And he is drawn up to. He is drawn to the window and stares up at the night sky. And you look and. Uh, there's the obligatory sexy sunny shot. Working out. Yeah, working out. And, uh, yeah, Taker just being all emo. Emo Taker. Emo Taker. Yeah. Um, 6,000 light years away in the constellation Cygnus, a huge star circles an invisible cannibalistic partner, a blagol swallowing and devouring all matter that p falls within its ultimate gravitational pull. And then... There's another panel that talks about it being the blackest and most dense this thing. This, then, is the blackest and most dense thing in our universe. Yeah. Anything that falls into a monster force can never return. Bound to perish, unseen in space and time, beyond our own. Flip. And then there's more rant ranting. And, rant and this is the problem, is that it's very reminiscent to the Warrior comic. Where I think they're trying really to do their own Warrior comic. I think so. But Einstein... And others before him have pondered the question, will our universe expand forever, or will it fall back upon itself and contact back to the tiny particles which created the original heat and force of the Big Bang? Are black holes gateways to other universes? Completely not wrestling related at all, these free panels. It just looks like somebody's on a bad ass. I'd like trip. Neil deGrasse Tyson's opinion on this. Neil deGrasse Tyson. son. Uh, yeah, he probably think that this is all the bullshit. biggest bunch of bullshit he's ever seen in his life. Uh, the Supreme Leader of the World Wrestling Federation, Vincent K. McMahon, enters. So, there's Vince walking in. You know, this is prior to No Chance as Hell, this is Blue Suit Vince. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Picture. Okay. Hang on. Hang on one second here while I get this. Sorry. Load up. 
This Undertaker picture. This, this, yeah. Um, messages invade my being. <laughs> they are an unknown language, an unknown universe. They speak to me. His eyes are blood red. <laughs> and he is just freaking out. That's like he's been... Bad trip. <laughs> hanging out with... Uh, RVD all day. <laughs> or um, Johnny Depp in the uh, deserts of Nevada. The bats are coming. <laughs> we can't stop here. This is a bat country. <laughs> Whereas, all right. Okay, we go next panel. What other universe? There isn't one. What messages? Of course, Vince looking puzzled along there. And we got Sonny flexing in the background because... Take her! Sex! You What's know? wrong with you? There's no other universe. This is a WWE universe. <laughs> they enter my being and translate from within. They are the words of another origin, another dimension. <laughs> I'm not making this up, guys. This is what's being printed and given to us. There's no way he can make this up. This was produced by WWE. <clears throat> so we have another panel where stuff's happening, I guess. And then we have... Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin. That, that's not Stone Cold Steve Austin. No, that's Austin. He, he looks not like Austin. Well, it's supposed to be Austin. Yeah, but he he looks skinny. And, uh, you know, it's he says, Another dimension, I guess you haven't been getting enough air in that coffin, have you, son? But just for amuse amusement's sake, exactly what is it that your little friends are saying to you? So, uh, Austin's trying to book Taker for his podcast 20 years in the future. Um, <laughs> at this point. Yeah, this is foreshadowing. Yeah, or 21 years in the future, yep. 91. And we're at, we finally made the last page. Holy fuck. He's melting. <laughs> <laughs> He's melting. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Illustrated by Wayne J. Meyer and story by Neville J. Meyer. Mikey Brothers. And, damn, you can buy that's that. And you get the t-shirt. Yep, <laughs> there's merchandise here. You can buy the t-shirt. So, Crozor, the World Wrestling Federation and Cosmic Conflict. Uh, you could have bought this comic book. Uh, I guess it's more of a graphic novel than anything else. It's over 100 pages filled with incredible, incredible artwork. And the first of the amazing stories and ongoing epic adventures that surround the inevitable coming of the cosmic conflict. Once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> you get a t-shirt, the book, and full color wall art poster with cool. Austin and Undertaker yeah. for $29.95. A, only ra a, ra a random 250 of the limited edition books will be autographed by Undertaker and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Do they really want to put their pen to the name? For well, them? they're signing it, it sounds like. Uh, anyway, off of this. Uh, so, yeah. So, $29.95 plus $4.95 shipping and handling. I've never even heard of Crozar until today. That's Crozar. I've never heard of it till today. That's that's a find here on Nitromaniac TV. Um, Crozar. That is probably the, the most terrifying <laughs> image I've ever seen in anything wrestling related. I lost the page. But I'm going to try and find I like, it again. I like the Undertaker scared bloodshot one. Do you like the melting one better? No, it's this one here. <laughs> This is potentially <laughs> the single worst image I think I've ever seen in any printed wrestling medium ever. The Scared Undertaker. <laughs> and I lived through XPW and Deathmatch Dab magazines from Japan and, uh, you know, the... Uh, Sunny sex tape and China sex tape. China sex tape. 
uh, wrestling, another romantic wrestling comedy. Exactly. Uh, what Backyard was, Dogs. Yeah. And uh, whatever the hell uh, Santo Gold was. And the clips from Blood Circus. Now let's let's do. I want to see if we can find the Crozar graphic novel here. Well, please do. Yeah, let's see how much this piece of shit goes for on piece eating. of shit. This is wrestling gold. No, it's not. Uh, it's not. How do you spell K R O? Uh, Cro Crozor. Z O R. No, well, here Crozor. 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 Nothing. <laughs> I wonder if they even released it. Maybe they're just like, what is this? And then they just like I, I, killed it. I, I kind of hope they didn't. <laughs> I, I kind of hope that maybe the, the the amount of pre-orders was like five and that was it. No, we, eight dollars. Eight dollars. Yep. Well, that's just an ad. That's not the actual comic. Sorry. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, I can't find it, but I th it looks like it did make one issue before it ended. Yeah. Yeah, that I think they they would at least fulfill the order for the they did the pilot the first issue. And Everyone hated it. That was it. <sighs> well, there we go, folks. Uh, Crozor, uh, WWF superstars battling in outer space against galaxies, demons universes. from the heavy metal universe. I guess Undertaker is scared shitless. <laughs> the demons never been scared by anyone except Crozor. I'll leave you with this. Play the Cycle of Sid music during that. <laughs> <sighs> Happy wrestling watching later days. I'm Kellen Nitro. He's been Morehouse. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you can go to bed tonight. I'm sorry if you can't. I, I really am. Truly am. I'm guessing this was a Russo project, no, not a Vince pro McMahon project. One would hope so. And I'm guessing once McMahon saw it, he's like, what the fuck is this? He probably doesn't understand it, yeah. <laughs> I would hope that he is.